It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Slight Family. Patty, Carol, Priscilla, Heidi, and Chris, ready for action. And the Stansbury Family. Tom, Sasha, Dan, Lorene, and Stan. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you. I won't lie to you, this is the same audience. They wanted to leave, but the rain's so heavy. <laughs> A little card in a gift backstage. It's been raining now for 39 days and 39 nights. It may be too late, but perhaps one should start some very heavy reading. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone have a really large piece of timber on them? Well, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Here's the champ. Hey! How are you, pretty? I'm fine. We're delighted to have you here. The champ's at $5,200, and even though the computer went wrong, you got it all, right? Yeah. Sure. Who have you got here? I know it's your family. You yes. Introduce them. I have my daughter, Carol, my daughter, Priscilla, my daughter, Heidi, and my son, Christopher. And the other one? Georgie. Is it Anaheim? Mm -hmm. He gets no, no share no, of the money. No, no share, no he nothing. He, he wouldn't, wouldn't come know. on the show, right? No. I bet he's sad now. I bet he's mad. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck with him? You're a pretty lady. Oh, thank you. What do you do? Anything at all? Nothing. I just kind of hang around the house. I don't do anything. Where do you live? Uh, Villa Park. Which well, if you're that? hanging around there, I'll come see you. All right. That's good. That's good. I can't say that to you, because your husband's here. That's right. Do you have family? No, not yet. Been trying? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> So do you want a family? Yes, eventually. Yeah, good. No need rushing into this, is it? No, we've only been married eight months. Oh. So we're going to take our time. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it now, Rose? <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Richard. Priscilla has two cats. She always <laughs> likes to talk to them. Send them a message. Say hi to them. Hi. Kitties. Well, their names. Use their names. Cinnamon and Pepper. Cinnamon and Pepper. They're not really my cat. They're not? Who's are they? Cinnamon's is Heidi's and Pepper's is mine. Oh, I see. Well, just say hi to Pepper, then. Hi, Pepper. You can say hi to Cinnamon. Oh, hi, Cinnamon. Wow. <laughs> 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 I think the country's in good hands with young people like this. Talk to cats via television. Is it a good cat? You trained to do anything? He's too old to do anything. He talks. Oh, yeah, he talks. He says Heidi and Mommy. Now, yes, he does. He wears glasses, too. <laughs> so, glasses, I believe, but he does. An eclipse, an eclipse of the sun, was that? I just saw a light go. Well, I'll just stay here while he's on the phone. Did you notice it got, got, got a little darker? It's the rainstorm. And a big wave, a big wave went right through our electrical. So, I'll get, I'll get to him now. Lighting's much better for you like this. Oh, it is? <laughs> Doesn't it remind you of Tim on Carol Burnett's show? <laughs> Are the fingers ready to fly, Mrs. Mickle? Do you like him? He's a nice young man. I think he's a fine comedian. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. I don't watch it that much. <laughs> well, they're very good friends of mine. Close your eyes a second. <laughs> is the family going to challenge you called the Stanbury? How are you, Tom? How do you do? Nice to see you. Nice Who's you got here? Richard, I have my beautiful I have my lovely wife, Sasha. Oh. I have my brother, Dan. My mother, Loreen. Hi, and Mama. My, Hi. my father, Stan. How are you, sir? I'm nice great. Now, this is a beautiful lady. I'm very lucky. How long have you been married? A year and a half. How did you meet? Uh, she knocked on my door one day when I was getting ready to go to work at the Brown Derby. Knocked on your door? Knocked on the door, wanted to borrow the telephone, and I said, will you marry me? She said no, and <laughs> one thing led to another, and... Borrowed the telephone? That's borrowed right. the telephone, left a quarter. Good Lord, I <laughs> could have borrowed anything I had, my car, <laughs> my children, anything. Oh, yes? Yeah, why did you knock on his door? Because I was his neighbor. Ah, of course, it all figures out, doesn't it? Yeah. My little accent, where? 
Uh, I'm Italian. Oh. And uh, I've been raised in Germany and lived in London for a long time. You did? Yes. I'm definitely in love, Tom. I know. <laughs> I, that was the only worry I had about coming on this show. Oh, London is my favorite city. It's yeah? gorgeous, yes. That voice, can you hear that voice? Could I borrow your telephone? <laughs> even better than talking to your cats. We said, I got a level. Oh, we're delighted to have you here. Oh, Hope I'm be delighted happy. to be here. Yeah. You are Not adorable. Back... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bella Bella. Yes. How are you? Just fine. How are you today, Richard? Uh, back to work. Crash back to work. <laughs> 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 nah, we're, del we're delighted to have you. I want to give your mom a kiss here. Oh, you're going to How are you? I'm fine. Ever and been I, on I... TV before? No. Well, we're delighted to have you here. Well, uh, I've Look been at waiting this. The sun came out. I... <laughs> Oh, Thank that's you. because I was talking to you. Yes, yes, and I have a favor to ask. Ask me anything. My beautiful mother that's 87 years old is in the audience right out there. Yeah. And please give me a kiss for her. All right, well, I'll give you one, and on a commercial, I'll go out and give her one. Okay. Great. Right. That sounds great. 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 Come on, let's play the family show. Here we go. It's kind of scary when the lights went. Kind of. Well, I also got a little romantic when I got over there. <laughs> 100 people surveyed top eight answers on the board. You have to try and find the most popular answer. Now, here's the question. Name a kid that, <laughs> name a game that only kids play. I must get a word. Yes. Tag. Tag. They play tag, do they? Tag. <laughs> 16 people said it. One answer better than that. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Let me see it. Number one. What are you going to do? Pass. Pass. We'll pass. You're going to pass? Yes, See, I will. can walk you back here. Well done. He just wants to be alone with his wife. That's it. Name a game that only kids play. Carol? Hide and seek. Hide and seek. 100 people. Anyone say hide and seek? 13 cents at $58. I'd like to play that game with you, for sure. <laughs> You give me a game that only kids play? Well, I want to say skipping rope. Is that a game? That's a oh, game. Oh, see, show sure. me. Skipping rope! Oh. Verdict just came in. It's not a game. That's your first strike. Two more of those. They get a chance to steal. Hi, dude. Kids play house? They do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I played it the night before last. I wish I'd been playing it at Tom's house when Sasha came over. House! I remember when I was a kid, we used to play Army. <laughs> Army? Okay. Army! <laughs> Second strike, Patty. Cowboys and Indians. What a marvel. Good. Cowboys and Indians. That's got to be there. $67 there. Yeah? Game that only kids play. Uh, they play dolls. They, they play, play dolls. with dolls in their doll houses. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Gene, good. Gene and I, we still play that, don't we? Yeah. Chatty Cathy and <laughs> Ken and Barbie, I love them. I won't go anywhere without them. Dolls up there, you're all right. If not, it's your third strike. Stanford's ain't got a chance to steal. They play dolls. Uh, nope. What do you say? Right now. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What else? Come on. Jack. Doctor. What do you say? Jack. All right. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. You had a very sweet one ring around the rosy. Yes. Yeah. You wanted doctors there, didn't you? <laughs> Jack. Jack. Jack's up there. You get the $67. If it's not, we're going to give the money to Patty and her family. Do the kids play Jack? Please. Oh, Sasha, she knew, knows the game. One of the great game players of our time, <laughs> ring around the room. Number eight. Doctor. That's another game I'll explain. It's a silly game, but I think we'll have fun with it, Sasha. Be back right after this. Nurse! <laughs> Sons of us are doing very well. $67. Nothing here. Take care. I'll come on. Bye. Bell, 
bella, bella. Bella, bella. Lo goze, lo goze. Oh. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board to this question. You both look like great game players, so let's give this a whirl. <laughs> Here's the question. Name something women buy that is made of leather. <coughs> leather suit. Hello. Oh, one of my favorites. A leather suit. <coughs> oh. Well, don't throw it away. I still want to talk to you about it. Yes. Yeah. A uh, leather purse. A leather purse. Is it there? Purse. Number one. What are you going to do? We're going to play. 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 Okay. Is it safe? Yeah. Priscilla. Yeah. Name something women buy that is made of leather. Shoes. They right. Look in the shoes. Yes. Yeah. $80 there. Excellent. Hi there. Uh huh. Leather gloves. Leather gloves. Very good. <laughs> May we see if it made our survey gloves? No, did not. How are you? Pretty good. Um. Name something this. women buy that's made of leather. How about a wallet? A wallet. Oh, There's a wallet there. Uh, no, not there. $80 and now two strikes. Okay, Patty. another belt. What a belt. Can you imagine a guy wouldn't say belt? I know, I wouldn't say something besides wallet. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? It's my you were lucky with three of them. Belt! Uh, oh, not, I cannot believe it didn't make it. Good news over here. Leather coat. Need an answer. Coat. We'll have to settle for coat. A coat. All right, coat. Yeah. And if coat's up there, you get the eighty dollars. Take a big lead in the game. And if it's not there, we're going to give it to Patty. A leather coat. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Number three, please. Yeah. Name something women buy? Boots. Nancy Sinatra. Remember that? Boots were made for walking. We'll be back right after this. Here's a little test for you. The answer to your questions there is this. I prefer doing this. I try to get all questions answered. Stansbury's 147. Slice nothing. Come on, little dog. Stan. I don't know if we can get a shot of this, but there are some leather boots being worn on this particular family. They're Sometimes not leather. They are, they're not? What are they? Vinyl. Oh. I don't know. Something you know how many tacky. vines they have to kill to make? Oh. Cleveland and Amory is furious with us. Now, the dollar values are doubled. You know you've got to win this to get yeah, in the game. You win it, you'll be playing for the big money, okay? 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board to this question. Name something that is red and white. Yes, Bob. The American flag. The American flag. Do sound effects, everything. I'm... American flag. There you go. One answer better than that. Name something that is red and white. A candy cane. Candy cane, show me. <laughs> Fantastic. That was great answer. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to pass it. You're going to pass. You're not on the board and you're going to pass. All right. Ready. That's amazing. One, 26 there. Hi. Hi. Name something that is red and white. Uh, like a beach ball, maybe? Or let's take a look, shall we? Good answer. That's a good answer. Now. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Don't make it any worse than it is. <laughs> good answer. Get her hopes up and we yell it up and it's not there and then she'll... Beach ball! Oh. It was a good answer, but I just didn't think it made that survey. That's your yeah. first strike. Stan. The clown's clothes, dear. A clown's clothes? Yeah. Oh, way dear, Stan, I hardly know you. <laughs> El Clowno's clothes! Oh. All right. Well, maybe now the Slides family is working out that strategy. You got two strikes. You got an answer for me? The old dreaded barber pole. Ah. Anyone that knows dreaded is all right with me. Is it there? Barber Bowl! Okay. You got it. Well done. Oh, excellent. $156. Two answers left. Two strikes. Sasha. Something that is red and white. Mm, the only thing what I can think of is a blouse. A blouse. One of my favorites. 
The red and white blouse you wear, Jean, I love it. You know that. I've told you time and time again. The blouse is up there. You got it all. You'll play for $5,000. If not, Patty, get ready, because you can make this pay off. Blouse! <laughs> what do you say? You can get it. Santa Claus. Okay, okay. Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus's suit. Santa's suit. Uh -huh. Okay. If Santa's suit is up there, you're in this game with $156. If not, we have new champs, and they're standing right there. Santa's suit! <laughs> you got it. Number five. Oh, a stop sign was number five. Now we got $156, $147. Come on, Mama. This is gonna decide it. Dollar Valley is still doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top three answers are on the board. This is the question. Name a pair of famous lovers from literature. Yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet! <laughs> you got it. What are you gonna do? Hey, we're gonna play. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so proud of you. Come on Come back on. here. No hugging, though. Stan. Pair of famous lovers from literature. Three seconds. First strike, Tom. Anthony and Cleopatra. Looks like a winner, Anthony and Cleopatra. You got it? Yeah. One more, you'll play for the big money, Sergeant. Name a pair of famous lovers from literature. Three seconds. Three seconds. Uh... Uh... Okay. Dan? Can I kind of one, one more time the question? Sure. Name a pair of famous lovers from literature. Uh... Three seconds. John and Joan. Oh, John and Mary. John and Joan. You can do it. You can do it right now if you give me the correct okay, answer. Okay, who? 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 Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve's up there. You're gonna play for the big money. If not, you are the champ. Adam and Eve. You got it. Number three, please. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, the gentleman that Maid Marion was very fond of. You got $156 plus $5,200, and you were great. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You were marvelous. Take care. I need two people to play. Come on out. Who'll go first? I'll go first. Go to your room. Gonna sit this nice family to get $5,000 right after we watch this. Okay, you ready? You I'm ready. Dan off stage. Earphones on, he can't hear us. I'm gonna ask you five questions. Give me five answers in 15 seconds. Trying to think of the most popular answer. You and your brother Dan get 200 points. You got yourself $5,000. I'm ready for that. I'm ready. Seconds, <laughs> Name something you tried to fix but couldn't. Automobile. Something a teenage girl looks forward to. Her first date. A place that always has a payphone. A uh, restaurant. Something kids get dressed up for. Uh, a party. A very small fruit. A uh, grape. Turn around. <laughs> that means something you tried to fix but you couldn't and you said automobile, our survey said 15. <laughs> something a teenage girl looks forward to. You said first date, our survey said 45. You got to Place that always has a payphone. You said restaurant, our survey said 13. Something kids get dressed up for. You said party, our survey said 38. That's 111. A very small fruit. You said grape, our survey said oh. Here the ball. Thanks, Dad. Come on back. Now here's Dan. Let's go, Dan. You need 36 points. Let's stand here. Oh. What? Here. Great mind. I'm going to ask you the same questions I asked Tom. You cannot duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear this. I'll say try again. You give me another answer, okay? Okay. He gave me great answers. Remind everyone, please, the answers Tom gave me. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something you've tried to fix but couldn't. Uh, an engine. Something a teenage girl looks forward to. A date. Try again. Uh, first kiss. A place that always has a payphone. Uh, restaurant. Try again. Uh, airport. 
Something kids get dressed up for. Uh, their senior prom. A, a try again. Uh, a dance. Uh. All right. Senior prom is the dreaded party. I'm sure that's correct. We'll turn around. We'll find out. <clears throat> Ready? Name something you've tried to fix but couldn't. You said an engine. Our survey said zero. TV number one, you need 36 points. Something a teenage girl looks forward to, you said. First kiss, a survey said. Two. Dating and boyfriends, and now you need 34. Place that always has a payphone, you said. Airport, you need 34 points with the big money, our survey said. Oh, 31. Then I guess the time ran out. Something you said kids get dressed up for? Oh. Very small fruit. You you get five dollars for every point, you got a total of? 985. Thank you. And we got this. You said high school prom and uh, dances and parties were the same thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, a uh, party had already been up there. I was yeah. as shocked as you were. I'm going to chip in a couple of dollars. <laughs> Love you. See you here on The Family Feud. Some departing contestants receive from Sunbeam, the great American popcorn machine corn whopper, decorative antique styling, popped four quarts of self-buttered popcorn. And from across the Pacific comes Hawaiian Tropic, natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropic, the scent of coconut, the tan of the islands, Hawaiian Tropic. And carriage house cutlery and steak sets with space age, molybdenum stainless blades. One of the finest, sharpest, longest lasting knives ever developed, carriage house by Washington Forge. And ceilings by Celotex. Choose from a wide variety of patterns, colors, and textures. All so beautiful and easy to install, they enhance any room. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.